Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown from September 12th to September 21st, 2017. If we were looking for signs of the grand solar minimum intensification of cold, we would look right at the South Pole and then move northward. Davis Research Station breaks all-time most days for blizzards, deepest snow in five years in Australian ski resorts, snow base above normal, late spring snows, Tasmania, Victoria, Southern Australia, and eight of the last nine weeks, overall snow gain in the Alps, more freezing across Tasmania, snow dumping, and this week, four more days of snow. That's going to take us through the weekend. Mainstream media yapping about heat in New South Wales. Suddenly, overnight, snow appears. Mainstream media, hottest winter on record, but Tasmania, 4.6 Celsius below average for the winter. Victoria, 0.65 C below average for the winter. And don't forget the blizzard of Oz with thunder snow that signals a definite change. In the Southern Hemisphere, the Grand Solar Minimum has arrived. Canada now investigates climate denial. Your free thought, your free opinion about how our climate works, and if you don't believe in CO2, is now an investigation criminally in Canada. It stems from these billboards that Friends of Science put up talking about the pause, the hiatus in global warming, and also that CO2 is not the main driver of our climate system, that the sun is. And what heresy? You think we would be back in the inquisitions sponsored by the Catholic Church? But this is eco-justice and their minions in the Canadian government saying that it's a false claim that carbon dioxide is not a pollutant. Hey, eco-fascists, carbon dioxide is produced by every living thing on this planet. And even when you talk, it's 40,000 parts per million as you exhale your breath. Pope Francis, those who do not understand human Activity causes in the climate should consult scientists. Thanks, Pope. Let's do that. Warm phase in the Atlantic multidecadal oscillation means more hurricanes. Warm water, more hurricanes. Hmm, that's not very scientific. Drops in temperature that rebound naturally of over 2 C throughout the last 2,500 years. No, that's not very scientific either. That's all CO2. Remember all those factories and cars driving it, you know, 2,000 years ago. They were just polluting away. Let's talk science. Every time there's a grand solar minimum, there's more galactic cosmic rays. And these galactic cosmic rays increase cloud cover, causing more ferocious storms and heavier rains. And the advertising standards of Canada, well, they have their own set of rules. And the sun is the main driver of the climate is not one of them. You are banned. Farmers Almanac calling for a colder winter than last year, basing their forecast on sunspots. Less sunspots, colder. This is the solar cycle 25 and 26 forecast. Confirmation first, UK snow of the season. Snowpack still left on Ben Nevis, but it doesn't look like it's going to melt because zero Celsius is the freezing point. Same thing happening in Squaw Valley. Snowpack left from last year. Coldest September 16th ever measured in Amsterdam. And while going through the news feed, this is the Matterhorn, August 11th. I didn't know it snowed then. Sweden also August snow, August 16th. September 13th, Greenland a toasty, minus 34C. Chicago 11th coolest in the last 146 years. San Antonio new record cold. Yesterday's video I pointed out coldest September 16th ever measured in Amsterdam. Even showed you the average temperatures for this time of the year. The weather station measuring this temperature, DeBilt, which has been running since 1901, and this is based on the KNMI, which is the Netherlands Meteorological Institute. What did they do with those record cold temperatures? They just erased them. They're not even on their record. They don't want you to see it. And if we look on the 16th, and if we come over all the way to the right side, we see 13.4 degrees as the historical low maximum temperature. This matches right up with, this matches right up with that report about the record cold temperature in Amsterdam. Whatever way you look at it in graphical form or in list form, 
the same thing happens. The 16th, those temperatures just disappeared. Why are they hiding record cold temperatures in Amsterdam? Another quirky thing with the Meteorological Bureau in the Netherlands. 2017, far right, I put a orange box around it. How have they already filled out the temperatures? And notice next month is already one tenth of a degree warmer than the average. Western part of North America flipping a little bit cooler. Described as coming down in bucketfuls. This is how much snow is falling currently. Jasper ski area. Edmonton proper as well. Snowfall warnings. All time. Record snowfall in September. 7.4 centimeters. They're looking for 15 centimeters. This snowstorm. Severe weather. Montana says goodbye to summer as snow officially falls. And speaking of summer snow, Arctic front pushing down over Washington from wildfires to summer snow. Not to mention the temperature inversion hurricane force winds in Romania. And remember, it's still summer. Fall doesn't begin until September 22nd.